हॅलो आय एम रोहिणी ठुमरे लेक्चरर कम्प्युटर टेक्नॉलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट के के वॉक पॉलिटेक्निक नाशिक इन दिस व्हिडिओ यू विल लर्न अबाउट सॉफ्टवेअर टेस्टिंग मेट्रिक्स वाय टू यूज टेस्ट मेट्रिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्ट मेट्रिक्स मॅन्युअल टेस्ट मेट्रिक्स अँड मेट्रिक्स लाईफ सायकल नऊ लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेअर टेस्टिंग मेट्रिक्स सॉफ्टवेअर टेस्टिंग मेट्रिक्स आर द क्वांटिटेटिव्ह मेजर्स यूज्ड टू एस्टिमेट द प्रोग्रेस क्वालिटी प्रोडक्टिव्हिटी अँड हेल्थ ऑफ सॉफ्टवेअर टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस ऑर इट इज ऑल्सो डिफाईन ॲज सॉफ्टवेअर टेस्टिंग मेट्रिक्स ऑर टेस्ट मेजरमेंट इज the quantitative indication of extent capacity dimension amount or size of some attribute of a process or product the goal of software testing matrix is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness in the software testing process and to help make better decision for further testing process by providing reliable data about the testing process a metric defines in quantitative terms the degree to which a system system component or process possesses a given attribute the ideal example to understand metrics would be a weekly mileage of a car compare to its ideal mileage recommended by the manufacturer now why there is a need of test metrics test metrics are used to take the decision for next phase of activities such as estimate the cost and schedule for future projects it also used to evidence of the claim or prediction it is used to understand the kind of improvement required to success the project and to take decision on process or technology change which is to be modified there are three types of test metrics process metrics product metrics and project metrics process metrics it can be used to improve the process efficiency of software development life cycle product metrics deals with the quality of software product project metrics can be used to measure the efficiency of a project team or any testing tools being used by the team members identification of correct testing metrics is very important the some of the points need to be considered before identifying the test metrics are fix the target audience for the metric preparation define the goal for metrics introduce all the relevant metrics based on project needs analyze the cost benefit aspect of each metrics and the project life cycle phase in which it results in the maximum output now let us have the manual test metrics in software engineering manual test metrics are classified into two classes base metrics and calculated metrics base metrics is the raw data collected by test analyst during the test case development and execution for example number of test cases executed number of test cases number of test cases passed number of test cases failed etc while calculated metrics are derived from the data collected in base metrics calculated metrics is usually followed by the test manager for test reporting purpose for example percentage of complete percentage of test coverage percentage of test passed percentage of test failed etc 
Now, this diagram shows the matrix life cycle. It consists of five main phases analysis, communicate, evaluation, and reporting. Under analysis phase, we are following identification of matrix and definition of identified QA matrices. Second phase, communicate, where you need to explain metric to stakeholder and testing team. Also, educate the testing team about the data. Data points need to be captured for processing the metrics. In third phase of test metrics lifecycle, that is in evaluation, you, are, you have to capture and verify the data. Also, use the calculating matrix value which are used during the data captured. While reporting phase of test matrix life cycle, you have to develop the report with an effective conclusion. Also, distribute the report to the stakeholder and respective representative and take feedback from the stakeholder. This is all about what is software testing matrix. What is matrix life cycle? manual metrics and why metrics are important. Thank you for patience listening.